Welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We are on day 10 of uh, of this journey. And I do not have the mech. Lady, uh, number 7, no sorry. Uh, Sagiri, Sedona, in our team right now. Because I'm still trying to unlock the um, Soul Hacker class for everybody. We're getting pretty close for Noah. Because I want the team to be able to experience what is a pretty neat class. Um, so right now, Cinna is this class, the Machine Assassin. We got the Pirate Dude here just so that we could keep leveling up, or affinitizing, whatever the hell they call in this game, there's so many systems. Uh, the Soul Hacker class for everybody. I still have lands as a signifier because no one else can be the signifier yet. So, like in the late game, unless you're willing to just like grind for hours, you're not... You're not really going to have the team that you want because you're, you're still just going to be unlocking the classes for everybody. Because they like they really slow down um, the class learning late in this game. So this isn't exactly the team I want, but it's the team I got. Actually, uh, oh yeah, and she's still the Troubadour because again we're still unlocking. So basically, everyone I think except for Noah um, is a class right now. Oh, also I guess. Uh, she isn't either because she hasn't learned any new classes in the late game. But like, all these people, so these, I guess, half our team, are um, classes that I don't necessarily need them to be, but I need them to be right now just because I need to unlock for everybody else. And we have the pirate guy because, same reason, we need, we need, we need to unlock his class for everybody else. I don't actually want the pirate guy in the team because I think his chain attack stuff is kind of weak compared to some other people. Also, it would just be cool to, to roll around with um, a mech in our team, even if there's just a human in there, or a not human. We don't. I still don't know what species she is, but number seven, initially her little front horns reminded me of the guy in Cross, but that guy was blue. I forget what his species was called, but he was, he was like the only a quote unquote like alien that was in your team. I don't remember his name, but I remember he had like horns, didn't he? I don't think they were horns like this, but that, like, I was like, ah, oh, I mean, this is the closest we have to that guy. Whatever that guy's name was. Hello, Taco. Hello, Kitty. Or, sorry, I already said hello to you. Um, is it a grinding stream? No, I'll do grinding. Like, I did a little bit of grinding, uh, last night after the stream. But only a little bit. I, I just went into the area with the Godzilla and, um, King Kong. And there's a lot of creatures there around my level that are also elites so I figure like that's a good place to kind of grind up classes but it's gonna take a while it is going to take a while wait what there's there's a Gundam mod for Wormworld I did not know that that's exciting this is a freaking gorgeous game yeah it is yeah, we got we got the sunset going just some islands out there, you know, you know how it be. That's the thing, like, Monolith Soft always makes some very cool looking worlds. And that's why I hate that it's on the Switch. <laughs> Cause just look, like, just look at some of these views we get. And just imagine, imagine if this was on the PC. Made for the PC, mind you. You would see like waves rolling into the beach. You know, everything would be higher than a 720 <laughs> uh, resolution. It would look amazing. It would look amazing. Hello, Suboptimum. But anyway, uh, we are going to do the mainline quest now that we got the hero mech. So we need... Where are we? Chapter... We're on chapter 7, right? What quest are we on specifically? Oh, to get the ship. Which is... The ultimate vessel. So we need to activate this one. I believe there's something over here ish ah there you are okay okay so it's not a Gundam mod it's just it's a mech mod okay I mean that's so cool that's so cool yeah we're just going to try and Oh, okay, sure. I mean, we, we can we can fight this guy. Yeah. 
giant field. What is that? It means there were no holes in my strategy. It did. There is a Barbados mod and an armor mod that sort of makes armors look like Zakumex. Okay. But like it's still just it's just the Rimworld characters, right? So it's like a little not exactly a triangle body, but it's it's, it's the Rimworld bodies. I think I could stare at that forever. But don't get me don't get me wrong, like the Rimworld uh, look is is very nice. The outcome is patently clear. Stay alert and alive. But if we're talking Zaku's, I want like full body Zaku. Where the hell is this guy going? Poor little turkin. I'm the girl with the gall. Yeah, like I'm I'm really enjoying these late game classes. I like the um, the signifier, I believe is what Lance is called, right? Buffing the entire team, I believe, is very powerful. The machine assassin debuffing the entire enemy team, I think, is very powerful. The um whatever we are with this class, with the fire lance, I don't remember this name, but it seems very powerful. The the monk class, which isn't called a monk, but it's like a monk, the punch punch. That class is disgustingly stupid. I love it. I see why they make it take a long time to learn that class with the entire team, because like I'm very curious what our team would be like if we were all little Gondors. But not Gondor, because Gondor sucks, but you know like her class. Hello, the Sasting. There's a Mech Warrior mod that lets you have mechs, but it's pretty jank looking. <laughs> okay. I never expected Rimworld to become as big as it as it has over the years. I always thought it was a cool game, but like, my God, you just never know. Never know what game will make it. Only you didn't charge off on your own. To be fair, a lot of that is because the money scene is so big. Well, I mean, that, that contributes to it, right? Like, be, something being so big is just the fact that there's a lot of people that want to mod it. Is this, like, a rare thing? The origin metal signal was coming from around here. Oh. I have seen the Starship Troopers mod. I do remember that one. Okay, so treasure seemingly behind waterfall. What? They actually put something behind a waterfall? Explains how one undiscovered at least. All right, let's go. It's the same thing why people still play XCOM 2 to this day. Yeah, and again, like it, 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 it's because XCOM XCOM 2 is big for a reason. There's a lot of modders for a reason. Because it's a very solid base game to to build upon. Zoom out. There we go. The XCOM 2 mods are so good. I really enjoyed the Warhammer mod we did, Star Wars mod, random other mods, mods that mod mods. You want XCOM 3? Well, same. I think we all do. But even if we're getting an XCOM 3, which I would imagine we would at some point, it's not coming for years. Because whenever it's announced, we probably still have two years before it's out. After it's announced. Because right now, that team is still working on the Marvel XCOM game, right? We scoot over here. Da, 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 da. 
I believe that's what the XCOM team is working on. They're working on the, the Marvel XCOM game. Which, I mean, I'd rather just have XCOM 3, but I do hope that the XCOM Marvel game is, is good. I'm going to get closer to my team in case I die here, because it looks like I'm probably going to die here. They made a mobile gotcha XCOM game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's kill these. Let's kill these real bastards. Why did they do that? Was it successful? I I don't. I haven't heard of that. If they didn't have waifus, then they're not going to be successful in the gotcha market. I need to get that healing. Where's the healing? Well, I guess I, we do more damage the weaker we are, right? Or the lower, or the closer death we are. That's the worst part. It did have waifus. What? How do you put waifus in an XCOM game? What? Why? I was just kidding. Put XCOM Legends in Google if you want to be sad. Listen, Nico. I don't need to type in XCOM Legends in Google to be sad, okay? Thank you very much. Yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea that was a thing. These waifus are subpar. <laughs> I mean, they're X XCOM. The XCOM shouldn't have waifus. I suppose I should do a chain of death. Yeah, like, this guy, I think, kind of sucks in chain attacks. I don't like his abilities. Get the maxes out. Nice. Let's go for Mia. Mio. Still gonna get those two mixed up. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's why Tyon has the most TP. That makes sense. Mia would be good at tactics, right? I guess she does have what, like a 25? Then we go for Lance. Them overkill now. Raise your flag. Right 
Uh, of course, when I say that he's used his enchant attacks, when he reactivates, he goes plus 50 instead of negative 50. You bastard. Piece of shit. <laughs> Try to talk shit about him, and then he comes back with his... with a good trait. Noah does suffer from good guys shown in protagonist to the extreme. No, nah, guys, I'm sure the devil is just mis misunderstood. Let's invite him over for tea, okay? We're, we're gonna talk it out. Me and the devil are gonna come to an understanding. I'll be like, hey, man, listen, how about... How about we just stop with the hell stuff, okay? How about... How about we just stop being evil, okay? Uh, hello, Kaga? Jetstream. Nice. Wait, who are you... Oh, so find some over here. No, Zed will... Zed will die. No, it may not kill him, but Zed will die. Because all the villains die in these games, even if the protagonist doesn't kill him. Like, that's the thing. They want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to be like, no, it won't kill, but at the same time, the dude will die anyway. Like, I remember... I don't remember exactly which character. It wasn't the final boss. I can't even remember if it was Xenoblade 1 or 2. Or Cross. But there was a villain who I think we refused to kill. And then, like, the villain was going to charge us. But then rocks crushed him. Like, literal rocks came from the sky and crushed him to death. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So, like, this series has always wanted his cake and eat it, too. <laughs> like, they they want their, the good guy Shonen to be a good guy. Not, do, not be a murderer. But then... At the same time, random acts of God happen and villain still dies. So like, mm, mm. I just I wish I remember what, it wasn't a final boss. I don't remember which character that was, which like little mini boss or side villain in which game. I just remember that happening because I it cracked me up. Got it. All right. And we got a soul hack too. Wasn't it the Pope guy from XC2? It may have been. Like I said, I don't remember which one specifically. All I remember is that it did happen. <laughs> the protagonist was like, we're not going to kill you, man, because I'm a good guy. And then they started walking away, and the villain's like, ah! And then rocks. Psh, crushes his body. <laughs> I, was, I was losing it. I was losing it. Hello, Ragar. Uh, looks like we're going to the Pentelis region in Fornus. Okay, Pentalis and Fornus. Where are we going? New phone, who dis? Here we are. No, that's Rousing Belarius. Mm. They did say Pentalis, right? The only side quest I see over here is... Is in the colony? Well, that's Lambda's problem. What? Hmm... Weird? What about Fornus? Okay, okay, there's that one. Alright, we'll start there then. Ah, uh, okay. Almost the wrong way. Oh yeah, this is the tree section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool little glowy trees.
actually, there is still a unique over here somewhere that I haven't got because their level was too high. We have to, we have to go for that. I don't remember what level they were, but at the time when I was hunting for them, they were too, too high. Riku see reading of Origin Metal, but not anything that could fit Bill. Coordinate data does seem to be pointing us here. That mean Mr. Salmon's done goofed. You done goofed, Salmon. Doesn't seem very likely. Well, not too likely. Is it possible that it could be buried under the surface? Oh, you gotta be joking. Please don't tell me we're gonna have to dig this whole place up. Oh, boy. Queen's cuticles. I'm gonna hate this. Queen's cuticles. Okay, so they just have us digging some earth mounds. I'm gonna guess this one. It's this one. Maybe not, because they're gonna have to do a cutscene of the first mound. So this may not be it then. Nope on senses tingling. Man, I think it a little bit far away. What are nope on senses? Let's try digging around here. Around where? Around where? Manana feel it close. We're getting closer. Either that or it doesn't matter, it's always going to be the third one. It wasn't the third one. Real, real close. Have gut feeling. Hmm, I see. I'm, I'm beginning to think it doesn't matter which ones we pick. I went the wrong way. Okay, I did. I went the wrong way. So let's go. Let's go here. Very smart of them to fade to black, so they don't have to animate anything. Listen, this is a huge game. If they want to fade to black, so they don't have to make an animation of somebody digging in dirt for one tiny side mission, I'm okay with that. You got to make a cut somewhere. I don't need to see them pull out a shovel and dig. Pentelus region is next. Also Just like I don't need to see your character in Far Cry games, pull out a knife, bend over, start digging at a carcass, cut it three times, and then boom, 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 boom. All right, so there is no... There's no... Hmm. There's no quest marker. The Toke the Realism? I don't need it. It's a video game. Especially in those Ubisoft games. Like, just collect it and go. Which I think, because I did try Far Cry... <sighs> Far Cry American Cult Simulator, whichever one that one was. Because it's free on Game Pass, so I did try it. And that one... Was a nice Wait, the low Mac, the Wildwood? Yeah, okay, we're in the right way then. But, sorry, in that one I believe you can just press a button and the Yamak can collect the, the, the stuff. To finish my statement, there you are. Ah! Oh, I know why it's not here, because I never went to the lower Mac, the Wildwood. That's why I didn't see it. I never actually went down here. Because down here is just, I think it's a bunch of poison, so I never went. But I, I do remember when we went through here the first time, I was like, what's down there? 
because like way down there you can see pools so that means you can probably go down there and I, and I never went because it looked purple the tail with this part it's uh it's a great tail looks like a way through yeah like I I'm also wondering what is the tail with this path but I guess we know right like this is just part of the world before it was merged with the other one If Hideo was in charge of this game, he would make it that digging animation, even if you would never see it beyond that point. He probably would. It does show a sense of care and dedication. That's a... Listen, Hideo Kojima is not a god, okay? Metal Gear Solid 5. Kind of a cool game, but also a shit game in a lot of respects. Death Stranding. Do I even need to say more about this? About that? About this? My man saw a UPS driver deliver a package to him, and then he was like, "I have an idea." Everyone, get some rest. I probably can't craft anything else. I'm always missing something. I'll have to like look these up online to see where they are specifically. <gasps> oh, I can make a level six. But, like this one I don't care about. Start battle with aggro. Eh, maybe I should care about it. Uh, I guess I'll use it. Finished. Make this one. Finished. Mm, okay, we'll craft this one. Finished. I'm eager to run some tests. It's a Minecraft style fun for Death Stranding? Okay. I mean, I don't believe you that it's fun. I believe that you have fun with it. Might as well just keep doing this. I definitely feel stronger. I think the uh, Fire Lance wins in that one. Clean our clothes. Clean your, body, clean your mind, I guess. It's vital to keep a record of events. For Honor was a game that made me turn the game off. Wait, we're talking about For Honor? For Honor was neat. Where to from here? For a bit. But For Honor is like any other fighting game. If you stop playing it. You're going to have to spend a long time honing your skills again. And you're just going to get crushed. This was a nice find. Did the Hunter Hunter Dark Continent ever take off? What is that? Hunter Hunter Dark Continent. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying, Nico. Like For Honor looks like a lot of fun, but it, it it is still a fighting game. And like any other fighting game, you're gonna need to spend a long time learning its systems, learning the combos, learning what class is good against each other class, uh, the classes or characters. Um, you need to learn what to watch out for. Like, there's a lot. It's not just hot lol. I go in and hack and slash you. Especially now, because the people still playing that game have been playing it for years. 
It's Four Honor's a hard game to go into now. Because you're just going to get dominated. Oh, good thing we found this. You gotta put, you gotta put the time in. It's like homework. Yeah, if you just want a lol hacky slashy game, then Chivalry is what you want to play. If you love fighting games and want a more dual focused like fighting game that also is just with sword still, then For Honor is what you want to play. If you're like, hey, what if Street Fighter but with swords and not Soul Calibur? <laughs> Although I also haven't played Frontier for a long time, so I was gonna say like it's a fun game if you put the time into it. It's a lot of fun to get into, but I don't know. I don't know the balance anymore of uh, of that game. Yeah, I never went down here. But now here we are. It's like when Toke tries to play Titanfall 2. I played Titanfall 2 a little bit uh, last week, actually. But I played its single player, or not single player mode, it's co op mode. They have a co op versus AI, like wave mode. But it's kind of boring, honestly. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. But yeah, I love everything about Titanfall. I just suck at Titanfall. But I do love everything about it. The new Street Fighter? Honestly, the new Street Fighter I may play. Which would be the first um, Street Fighter I've played since 4. Which I know... <laughs> which I know, you know... There's only been one Street Fighter since 4, so it may not sound like it's been that long of a time. But it's been a long time since i played Street Fighter. Because Street Fighter 4, it's heyday that when I played it was back in... Jesus. When did Street Fighter 4 come out? 2009? 2008? And then I, I played it for a couple years. But then I got off by like 2012, 2011, something like that. And then I Street Fighter 5 didn't interest me, so it's been like 10 years since I played a Street Fighter game. And I still may not get the new Street Fighter game. It does look so good. But it's not going to have my man Dan Abiki in the starting lineup. Like, there's no way. And that's who, that's who I love to play in Street Fighter 4 was Dan Abiki. Which, if you do not know, Dan Abiki is a joke character. Um, based off of a SNK character. I forget whose name they are. But the King of Fighter people... Danabiki was based off one of those guys and made to be uh, really garbage because Capcom was like, Law, your characters are garbage. We're going to put one of them in our game and he's going to be a joke character. But in Street Fighter 4 is the first time where he was actually... He wasn't competitive, but he was a lot better off than he had been in previous iterations. But he was still shit for the most part. But I had a lot of fun with him. He's my favorite character. Until Yuri gets added, you probably won't touch Street Fighter 6. Yuri. <laughs> Yuri remind like Yuri always reminded me of the Brazilian fighter in Tekken, Eddie. Eddie Gordo. Yuri is like the Eddie Gordo of Street Fighter. Hey, this one means business. You gotta face me! Perfect timing. Which, nothing wrong with that. I like Eddie Gordo, Eddie Gordo, but I just, Jerry always reminded me of, of Eddie. But do you like, do you like Jerry because of her fighting style or because of all the extra content made of Jerry? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you, the fans really liked your jury. They really liked jury. Oh, 
But she does also have a very cool fighting style. Who was Jerry? She was like the the stereotypical crazy. I'm gonna put a hand over my eye and stick my tongue out like. <laughs> and then she would like do these flip kicks. All these flip kicks that would turn her and around. She's very heavy kick style. She's freaking crazy. I think she was Korean. For the affinity points. Yeah, even Dan aside, she, the Street Fighter 6 looks freaking good. It looks really, really good. Seventy-six. We may be able to take that actually. Let's see. Leave it to me. I'll have them crying by the end. Street Fighter 5 looks kind of boring to me, but man, 6 looks so good. Looks so good. Maybe the first fighting game I played since Tekken 7. With my man King. Ah, oh, King is so cool. One of the most satisfying things in, in any fighting game I ever played is getting the full throw combo with King. I think it's like an 8 button input. Was it 8? Maybe 6? I can't remember. A lot of buttons you gotta push. That was so fun. Am I dead? I'm gonna die. Ugh. You're googling lewd fighting games? I don't know of any lewd fighting games. And if there are, they're probably not good. Because even though I don't play fighting games, I stay up with fighting games, so I know of like the best ones. I just don't have the time to get good at any of them, so I don't play them. I do watch them. Like uh, the DNF fighter game is is really cool. Um, the DBs actually in fighting game news, the Dragon Ball Z game, the really good one, um, is getting rollback netcode, which is a huge deal. Rollback netcode is the preferred netcode of fighting games now to make it so that there's like little lag between your button inputs and multiplayer and what actually happens on the screen. So DBZ getting rollback netcode is a, is a huge deal in the fighting game community. And they announced that just, I think it was today or yesterday at EVO. So should play Skullgirls? Uh, I know of Skullgirls. It's a cool game, but it's actually one of the ones that don't interest me. See if we can keep this up. Aren't they all lewd? Not really. I mean, uh, sure, there's like scantily dressed ladies probably in most of these anime fighters, but the perfect solution. I wouldn't say that's lewd. That's just that's just how video games portray women. <laughs> Which, like, go, maybe just I'm so used to it. When I'm seeing like all the boobs bounce and like the wearing basically just pasties, I'm like, this isn't loot, this is just video games. <laughs> yeah, like Chun Li. Where am I going? We're talking about fighting games. I'm, am I going the right way? I am. Okay. Was the MVP. You were all thinking it. We're getting an origin metal readout from around this area, I think. Let's leave no stone unturned. Another 75? We could probably do that. Here we go, guys. I'm ready if you are, Noah. Come get some. 
Go! Go! Focus! Dead or Alive does have a lot of newly designed characters. They even have that, um, what was it? Like beach? Beach volleyball game or something? Sinron Kagura games? I'm actually not familiar with that one. You saw people were mad when Street Fighter 6 came out because Chung Lee looks too old? Does, does she look too What are you talking about? the other channel. So kind of a long load. I'm the frog of the well. Oh no, are we gonna have to kill this frog? Well, Jesus. This innocent animal, and we're like, alright, well I guess we gotta kill it. <laughs> Jesus. We're coming into its home, it ate a piece of metal, and we're like, guess we gotta murder it. Because of horny fan base? Well, I mean, to be fair, Capcom feeds into the horny fan base, though. I mean, look at Chung Lee. Her thighs are the size of the moon. Like, she's always been sexualized. So, like, they bred a horny fan base. Let's not put this all on the people. I do agree that people are way too horny in video games. But the, the developers feed into that all the fucking time. Look at Jury. Look at almost any female. Look at, what's that one, there's one lady, is her name Laura in Street Fighter V? Like, what the fuck? Not the rich lady, she was, um... Fuck, what was her name? See, I didn't play five, so I don't, I don't remember her name. But she was barely wearing any clothes. Boobs bouncing all over the place. Ivy from Soul Calibur. What do you mean? I don't remember her name or else I would tell you. I thought it was Laura, but if Laura's the rich one, they're like, oh, 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 then it's not her. There we go. Sure, yeah, Bayonetta. The Laura you're looking at in Street Fighter V is looks pretty booby. That's probably what I'm talking about. Oh, if you hear, I'll just I'll type up there. Yes, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, Laura, I was right.
Hello, Ranger Zeb. Oh, yeah, Vampire Lady from Resident Evil. Yeah. And how the entire marketing for that game was around the Vampire Lady whose sequence in the game only lasts, like, like what, two hours? Whoa, what? What is, was this, flashback? A thousand years ago? You're special. Precious few make it all the way to their homecoming. But this won't do at all. Your lives shine all the brighter if they are extinguished right here on the battlefield. Hmm? What's the meaning of this, Commander Chris? I bid you sheathe your blade, my Lord Consul. Come again? You want to take his shine for yourself? I am simply stating there's no need. Why kill him now? Mm -hmm. His time is at an end. How brightly he shone. He himself knows better than anyone. So this is our f this Your is Noah's friend, but a thousand years ago. Now. I'm sure. Mutiny! Why not just let it go, V? M, why are you here? When their appointed hour arrives, should we not grant them an appropriate departure? Don't be a fool! Then their life will be lost from circulation, will it not? Oh. Zed also wishes it so. Zed does? I refuse to believe it. You see fit then. If I may, let me send him on. So this guy is, is dying, dying. Ain't boiling hot for two. That's good, Zeb. It's good to not boil alive. What does this have to do with the origin metal? Hello, Cherry. That's a good tune. A Chris original? Yeah, I suppose it is. Maybe I'll pinch it as well. You've got your own tunes, Noah. Those are just as good. Wonderful, I'd say. Really? I only tweaked a few notes in a score from my previous colony. It's not the notes that matter. It's the feelings you imbue them with. Feelings? Raw emotion. It resonates. Okay. I mean, we've, we've seen this part of the cutscene a couple times, I think. Wait, what? Oh, all ye formless dead. Will you respond to the Queen's awakening?
the sword of the end. Of all the vestiges of origin strewn through the world, who knew this fragment yet remained? It is no longer one with the flow. We have no means of controlling it. Will you go, then? No. There's no need, is there? He will come to me. Oh I my know it. God. To share with me his feelings. Of course. Why wouldn't Chris be a Mobius? I'm mad at myself that I didn't see this coming with how often they've shown him. How did I not see this coming? Why wouldn't he be a fucking Mobius? Cause, cause this allows us to have a dramatic moment between him and Noah. Like, but Chris, you were my friend. And he's like, no, no, it's Noah. Not, the castle. not anymore. Oh, okay. And then when we kill so him, he'll be like, that. I just lied. Noah, I've garden always been your friend. And he blows up. Garden what now? It's a garden at the castle rear. They bring new recruits Fucking there too, Jorn all over training. again. Well, phew. You had me worried there for a second. <sighs> Thought we'd be back in the Antal's jaws. Even so, it's an enemy base. We can't expect to just waltz in without a fight. First, let's just try to scope it out. God. Why? 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 I didn't even hear what they said there. I was still reeling over the fact that they're doing this. Oh my god. We've already had this moment with Jorn. We don't need it again. We had this moment with Miyabi. Now we're having a moment with fucking Chris. Ah! Okay, where am I going? It was a base? Which base was it? Was it Kevin's castle? Let's get this castle. Oh my god. Is there two Chris's now? Maybe, man. I don't know. Well, no, he's probably... He's probably the Chris that Noah of this timeline knew. Probably. Was, what are these? Level 43? Oh. How are they gonna do the same thing multiple times? Multiple times! This is, gonna, this is literally gonna be the same fucking story, just with a different character. I'm the girl with the gall. So it's beyond this bridge? Yeah. I think it's just no padding just at this point. Just like this. A lot of the late later story, like little character bits here, are just padding. Did we need we to fight Jorah three times? No. That way, we should be able to swing around the back. Then, it's in and out, fast as we can. Yeah. We go in, we get the shard, and we hightail it out there. Right. I can't see another way. Let's do it. It doesn't mean I like it, Nico. Just because it's, they do it all, multiple times doesn't mean it gets any better. In fact, it just gets worse. I'm going to become obvious. <gasps> what? Yeah, Dunban. I remember Dunban. Chris, you were a week away from Oh, the other coming. D? Why? D son? I don't remember D son. I remember Dunban, no, though. You okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Hmm? Dixon? Or Dixon? Strange. I don't no, remember. Times.
let's go kill our friend. Well, at least there's a unique down here I haven't killed yet. I won't let any of you die. Safest colony with me on the job. I thought it was Dunban who. Oh, I, I was thinking Dunban was the one who betrayed you. That was Dixon. Okay, okay, never mind. I was getting those two mixed up. Cause like Dixon snipes somebody, right? Like he kills the king of the birds or something, or does he kill the giant that you free? And then he's like, oh, "Lol, I was evil the whole time." Oh, that's right. No, yeah, he got shocked. That's right. He got shocked. That's right. That's right. And then Shaw comes back alive because of the spirit that was living in his blade. Uh, hello, Corny. Welcome. Not good. Is that what I'm? Is that the realization? Is you like the Sonic again? No, I, I enjoy Xenoblade. I enjoy Xenoblade's overarching story. The overly dramatic moments are not my my uh, favorite times, though. There are a lot of those. You know, play cross is still great. It probably had a lot of over dramatic moments, but at least they had max. Which is really cool. The soundtracks are all pretty great. Like, this, the, the soundtrack for this game is great. I do like the main cast of this game. The gameplay is amazing, I think, for an RPG. The world is great. And again, the overarching story that connects all these games together, I think, is interesting. Like, the soundtrack is great. I've been, I've been hearing these same songs for almost 80 hours, and I still love them. Amazing soundtrack. I do hate the villains. I think I have always hated the villains in every in every one of these games. Although for Xenoblade Cross, I don't think we... We didn't even like see the villain that many times, right? Throughout the game. Like, there was a couple cutscenes of like Fish Face. And then there was like the um, the one tentacle head lady, which the camera loved her ass. I remember her. But there wasn't like a bazillion Mobius fuckers who were the same character. Are we gonna lose this, by the way? Our healers are down. Oh shit! I'm gonna have to chain attack and try. Who's even up? Uni, Noah, Senna. Wow, we can't even form. Oh no, we can't. We can. We need you. Union Sion. Uh. Shit.
I wasn't paying attention to the fight because I'm thinking about... Well, I guess about this game. We can still revive too, I think. If uh, after this, Tyon and Uni need to go into mech form, and they have a revive all. Oh no, I don't think we can even do this. Unless we get a lot of TP here. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. No, they killed Yudi! Oh, you fucker. Now I don't think I can do it. I needed them to form Voltron. Wow, killed Yuni immediately. The game heard me. upsetting. Come on! Oh, I have one in four left. No. What? My blaze got it! Get fucked. Get fucked, random robot. The blaze from the ultimate actually bursted it down. Ha <laughs> ha! Planned. So anyway, Xenoblade's Games have shit villains. So much to see, huh? Wait, I can't even. Oh, we can't even. I can't even. Wait, where do I go then? Wow, I can't. I I can't believe that. The blaze damage from this class actually finished them. I got so lucky there. I survived with 1 HP because they killed me in a move, and I don't believe you can ever die while doing a move. Who wants to do the honors? Um, when I say move, uh, specifically the their ultimate, their talent art, when they're in that animation and like the camera's in cinematic mode, you can't die. So that's why I had 1 HP. Holy shit. You think we'll be able to slip through undetected? I don't know. But we'll need to proceed with extreme caution. I wasn't worried when I was like, we could just revive everybody with Uni and Tyon, and then out as soon as the chain attack ended, as soon. That boss was like, blah! Goodbye, Uni. And I was like, no! Now to ascend. My dreams. One day they'll have secrets. One day they'll have dreams. I think this is how it goes. And then here and but yeah, so um, Xenoblade Chronicles Cross didn't have as much drama, as you said, because your character was a custom character. So there was no drama to build around them, really. Which is maybe another reason why I really liked Cross. Cross is probably still going to be my favorite one. Although... Like, that's hard, because for gameplay-wise and systems, this is the best. With all the classes, the customization, the gameplay of this game I think is the best they've ever had. But overall, I, I will probably... I think Cross is still my favorite because I like the story, I like the setting, the lack of drama, the robots. I liked a lot about the soundtrack. This is unsettling. Not a single person anywhere in sight. 
What's going on? This is probably my is favorite main cast of a Xenoblade game, though. No, I very much doubt it. We didn't do any direct damage to the castle itself. Maybe it's because of the Machini Queenie? Machini Queenie? Even so, we didn't actually free the soldiers here, right? Also, the voice acting for this game, no I think, here. is really good. Huh? The shard's changing position. Hey, Noah, look at this. I'm too Noah? busy looking at my friend. It's a song. What song? You're right. It's a Cavessi one. The melody. Yeah. God, I'm and I'm really hoping for a cross to. I, I think we playing. all are. Just make it, you cowards. Gosh darn it. Straight up leaving most of the story unexplained seems to be a win for the studio. Agreed. Chris. Agreed. It was a good Wait, good choice. Chris. Wasn't that the guy who was Noah's off seeing instructor? Yeah. Huh? But Chris is He's alive! Yeah. He died four years ago. Does that mean he's been reborn? Like Ethel? No. I don't think that's it. What then? Like Mobius? There are two types of Mobius. The kind like Z and X, who were Mobius from the beginning, and humans who became Mobius, like N, M, and Yorin. <laughs> so... Is this, like, a trap? Probably. But the origin metal readout is real. My sword is tingling. Here. In we go? It's tingling yeah. for blood. In we go. So... What? Into the jewels? Hold on. They're clearly aware that we're coming. But there's no one around. He's waiting. I like the boob straps on the male characters, too. It emphasizes their pecs. But, um... These scenes... These overly Better dramatic scenes that. with Yorin and Chris don't work because we only ever had one, maybe two cutscenes with the two characters. And the cutscene just saying, These guys are friends, believe us. They're deep friends, best of friends. But the games don't show it. You know, the game doesn't spend enough time with Noah and Chris, or Lons and Yorin, it just force feeds you. It's like we're a baby, and the game is force feeding us. Noah and Chris are best friends. You should feel something now. They're the force feeding us some Gerber's Noah and Chris are friends um, flavor, but they're not showing it to us. So I feel nothing, and it's just annoying. If they actually showed more, if they if they showed a friendship. Over the course of 80 hours. If Chris was a main party member or something, I don't know. The tap dancing no pawn. Wait, what? Oh, so this becomes a colony. Huh? Something weird this, is going on, right? this just becomes a town, I guess, because the there's a freaking rest spot called the tap dancing no pawn. It's like killing a parent in the first 10 minutes of a game. It's like Harry Potter. First 10 minutes of the Harry Potter movie, the parents die. Spoilers? Oh, sorry. Sorry, spoilers for Harry, Harry Potter. Actually, they, they may not show the parents' death in the first 10 minutes. I don't I don't actually remember. You were fine with what they showed of Jorn, but the script is just painful? That may also be it. The writing just sucks. In those moments as well. Imagine what this would be with a better writing team. 
Because how much of the writing is actually good? Chat, how much of the writing is good in these games? Because a lot of it makes me do eye rolls. I still like the characters, but like a lot of the writing still makes me do the eye rolls. Hmm. Good to see you again, Noah. I knew it. Chris. Thank goodness. I'm so yeah, I guess it was, it was pretty good. Like, I wasn't really doing any eye rolling Chris, for the first half of this game. Come out! Reveal yourself! I'm waiting in the throne room. Take your time. I want you to come up here. Then I want you to play that special melody. Chris! I'll be waiting. Sincerely yours, Chris. Do I gotta fight these robots on the way? Chris is waiting. Everything before you know what's going on in the world is solid. Yeah, it was. It really was. Minus the Mwamba death flags. <laughs> but those are just funny. Every five steps, that guy was like, man, I can't wait till I retire. Did you know that I'm retiring in a couple days? <sighs> I can't wait to see so-and-so after this mission. I'm going to go ahead over there by myself now. I'm like, God, it was just boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Non-stop death flags for Mwamba. <laughs> that was great. I first met Chris... On the day of a homecoming. Oh yeah, because he was—he was the one sending them off, right? Yeah. I remember. Oh, that's true. Some His last later, month, he was going to work as like an engineer, like an so he didn't have to do any fighting. He could have—he could and rest then, easy. <laughs> it was literally again. two days to retirement. That part was great, though. That was that was fantastic. They had to have done that on purpose. The name's Noah, right? I'm Chris. Hi, Starting Chris. Starting today, I'll be your personal cheater. All right? Let's begin. Hey, Chris, tell me something. Back then, on that day, why did you look so sad? Which day? The day of homecoming. In Colony 14. Ah, I see. So that's how I looked to you then. The others looked so happy. And the soldier, he was so pleased about it. But not you. I think... He probably felt content. Content? He had lived through it all. Fought hard. And in serving his colony, he found purpose. I find it's quite a tragic thing. But why? I mean, it was time for him to return home. What do you think that entails? Huh? Reaching your life's expiry date. Surviving through so many battles. Well, I... Do you honestly believe he was happy to disappear for such trivial reasons? That his smile belied no doubt? I don't know. To me, he looked ready to cry. Huh. Being unable to choose his end. Merely accepting what comes next. Chris. There's no joy in a contrived death, Noah. Yeah, Noah. 
Contrived death, huh? At this point, I get him. Kind of, at least. On that day, he shook my belief. Was I really content? I have been shook. Content with the path I'd chosen to follow. <sighs> and then he chose for himself. His end would be by his design. Gonna become Mobius, Noah. I need to know. What was he thinking back then? And why now? Why has he appeared before me? Because we need to kill him. It needs to be dramatic, man. <sighs> we left Cinna behind. Is this better than just another random console who we don't care about? Is this more interesting? It's worse? Marginally? Okay. Chris. The fake queen's here. You dare to appear before me once again. You're fake! Do you not value your lives? Such idiocy. You should never have shown your faces here again. But you leave me no choice. For sullying this consecrated ground, I will see to it that justice is served. I gotta fight her again! A terrible din. <gasps> Only an imitation. Its empty words could never ring true. Let me hear it, Noah. I want a true melody. Oh, we're just we're just diving into the fight. Be the best performance you've ever heard. I'm gonna play the flute so fucking hard. It'll blow your eardrums off. I'm almost dead! Save me! Oh, wow. Get toppled. Wait, it's no longer a giant paddle. It's a normal sized sword. Well, normal. In quotes. Thy ah! has been broken.
Take this, Chris! My flames! Oh, I've been toppled. Wait, did I say evaded? Did you just evade all my shit? Well, we know this isn't his final form, right? Like, he's gonna turn into full Mobius. Or as the kids say, he's gonna, he's gonna morb. So this guy doesn't even deserve a chain attack. Yep, it's more. There you go. It's more time. All right, so that's why Chris. The first. Why become go. Mobius? Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? So I could see you again, Noah. Why even but have why? the fight? I like, guess doesn't mission. even. It doesn't even look like we fought. We're still like in the default stance of when we entered the room here. Like, what? Are, what are we even doing? We just kicked his ass, and I was like, "Why did you join him?" He's like, "Blah blah blah, Noah." Like, what? Is, what was the purpose of the fight? Is to change this world, is it not? Yes. And is that because ah! you're unhappy with the way it is? It's wrong, and we have to correct it. That is all. I see. So relentless desire is what drives you. Desire? You fight for betterment. For ever greater aspirations. And what's wrong with that? Nothing at all. It's human nature, after all. But you still don't understand. There's something you must learn. What's that? To be content with one's lot. What do you mean? Don't you see? Only the strong can ever hope to reach the fabled horizon that you seek. Your words must be backed up by strength in equal measure. Winner's logic. But birds, what can they possibly know of how a lowly worm feels? Then, what would you have become of the weak? Would you abandon them? You would refute their everything? End their story there? Mobius are the ones doing that. Noah, what you're trying to achieve here amounts to the same thing. You really think freeing Origin will revive the world and solve all of our problems? You must surely have heard from the Queen of Agnes the truth of this world. So what then? You're saying the Queen's lying? No. Surely not. Then what? But there is no guarantee. If... If the Queen is wrong, and the world is not created anew, what happens then? Huh? What if this is some flight of fancy? What if you've been taken in, staking your lives on a whim? Who's accountable? I ask you that. Um... Well, I... I think... Still the right thing to do. Oh? It was your smile. Chris? I get it now. I know why you were smiling back then. I'm good here. I get what you meant now. You asked me once if I would keep moving. And my answer. Tell me, Noah. I will. To the end. So that I can treasure those final moments. Final? 
when that hour is upon me, I want to look back and smile. Then I'll be good. And to come out smiling, we all have to choose where our lives take us for our future selves. And yet, lack of choice is enough to break a person. They struggle, suffer, clawing their way through endless fog. A world without choice, that's wrong. If death is a lie in this world, it deserves to end. So you'd rather perish along with the world? I just... I just want to cut this world free from Mobius. Whatever the consequences. Yeah. Otherwise, the Queen would never have told us the things she did. We take everything as it comes, and we're afforded so little. Still, no matter how slim a chance we might have, it's a chance. So if that's an option we can take, then I'll take it. Noah, your melody, I hear it loud and clear. Now show it to me, your conviction and your smile. Oh, we're fighting now. I just read that um, Triple H decided to call the WWE the WWF again. Which, like, what? Oh, that was a satire article? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was very confusing. I was like, what? <laughs> he just couldn't wait for McMahon to get out of there so he could be like, yes, once more we will be known as the WWE. Or sorry, F. Pandas are the real. <laughs> yes, yes. Good music. broke love this fast recharge aura Do we find the other queen yet? We know where the other queen is. We're trying to get to her. But first we gotta go through drama. I'm dead. Alright, let's let's morb. Bursted. Yes. 
Someone topple him! Yes. Oh, they want him to launch this time. Okay. Oh, we already got him out of his rage effects, so that's good. Damn it, he's not breaking. Break, you fiend. We need an Oron? We need a Lulu? What? <laughs> You're saying we just need Final Fantasy X? This is your story now. Badass walk off into oblivion. Now that was the moment that hit me. But I was also much younger then. And I hadn't seen as much anime bullshit, so I wonder if it would hit me today. Probably would? It was a beautiful melody. Chris! Yeah, Tosanakin is still a great song. It's a beautiful song, Noah. Noah, the one who made me Mobius, was said, <gasps> and it wasn't just me, J2 and N and M. All of us were human once, and Zed changed our very being. Why? Why would he do that to you? For that, you'd be best off asking Zed himself. But listen, Noah. I think in the end, I was happy to have become Mobius. How could I not be after hearing such a wonderful song? Chris, Mobius are an entity bound by the confines of this world. Strong, yet somehow fragile. And in their fragility, they crave only the now. Fearing to tread even a single step towards the future. I chose the path of the Offseer because I had a thought. The sender and the ones being sent. I wanted to learn exactly what it was that connected them. Though we may be forgotten, our feelings live on. It is through our melodies that we carry them on. I think I once told you something to that effect. Yeah. There's a place doing just that. The city. The city is. The many lives born of the city. Lives whose existence was never recorded in origin. They are our future. They themselves are proof of the coming winds of change. I think I see. They are our hope. Just as you once were, they too are the product of Uroboros's will. And that is something that can never die. Chris, 
You knew everything all along. <sighs> Noah, one last thing. You really do I'm back, the chat. most beautiful tune. Go now, Noah. Sing your song. This man's still alive. All to hear. This would have been a worthwhile scene if Chris was the first Mobius who got a cutscene like this. It probably would have hit different, sure. Like, but we've already won through the Jorn stuff. These guys tumbling out of the bar after an all-nighter. things Chris said what was that all about finding value what now Chris when he played his offseer song he conveyed his wish to me his wish that I would come to find value in all things he entrusted it all to you Noah ergo the rest is history. Yeah. But it's so... Sad, isn't it? I'm going. For sure. His wishes won't be in vain as we march on Origin. Okay. truly wanted thus, O ye voices, then let me enunciate emphatically so. <laughs> emphatically so? The rules to which this world adheres, for the benefit of us all. Quest complete. There's been changes to colony relations. We can now be a sword fighter again. Yay! I guess I might as well. How are we doing with the meta gunner? 
Wait, what? A All right, she's a Zephyr right now. Um. Oh yeah, because we don't have any of the tanks. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. So yeah, sword fighter, silver belt, sure. Let's do. What do I want to do? I don't know. Boost your auto attack damage. Ignore defense. That seems okay. Gems. Get you some attack. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. And then the skills, what we got? Boost physical damage, increase crit, 40% chance to evade range attacks. Ah, uh, we probably don't need that. At the start of a chain attack, increase TP by 6. Boost critical rate of auto attacks by 100%. Ah. I'll, do the, I'll do that one. I'll do that one. Okay. So, what do we do now? Complete the ultimate like ultimate the vessel. There's been changes to colony. We need to hand these straight over to Mr. Sam. Look at all these people. Let's take a stop at the tap dancing no palm. What up, Panina? Panina says tap dancing no palm is favorite haunted big shots and mighty cheeses of castle. Guard captain Sigrun inspection person Luciona both come often. Panina recommend to try extra special dish of cured meat vizard. I love vizard. Let's go get some vizard. Everyone, get some rest. Oops, nope, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Cured Meat Vizard gives us 40% experience boost. I don't need it, but you know what? Sure, we'll order it. Mmm, just wonderful. Looks like some meat and potatoes so and much. stuff. We should try this right away. We did? Right, Alright, back to Mr. Salmon. Who is over here? There you are. Yeah, just in case we weren't over leveled enough. Indeed. I can't imagine you ever needing an experience boost in this game. A ship that can traverse even the Great Sea's vortex. Phew. Technology sure is a marvel. I agree. Yeah. I don't know what we'd have done without Mr. Samon. Mr. Samon. So that's the state of affairs. This would be our target. Secret storage key. Hold on. Is there a door around here? Mr. Sandman, bring me a drink. Oh, I never actually got this. Might as well claim this. Huh. Huh. Is there like a door over here? Hmm. Oh well. Probably not that important. Simon. We've collected all the origin metal fragments. Some I know have been watching a whole of exploits through terminal. Oh, and what side it was. Friends are amazing. That time when you killed Chris, woo! That was great. So friends just leave rest to me. Now we wait. Finally, origin. 
No! Ah. I don't want to die! Remember that guy? Mobius, uh, an entity bound by the confines of this world. Strong, yet somehow fragile. Mobius, what even are they? Harvesting our lives to cling to life. Even stopping time. Mio, allowing for limiting conditions, we are reborn after we have died. A Mobius as well. Mobius, uh, they can't be brought back once they die. Why is that? I'm not sure myself. Although each of them is fundamentally aware of this, that's why they're afraid of death. They're scared, huh? I guess. Yara knew too. And he still killed himself. And now he's really gone. He gone gone. Still, he left us a parting gift. Yeah. The smile on his face. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Not until my dying breath. Jesus. Mm. What lies beyond death that Mobius fear it so? What the Queen said about the key that we hold. That smile might be it. Because he broke free of Zed's control. The power of hope, if we're being trite. Power to create future? Big props for Manana. Any way you slice it, it's not about looking backwards. More like the opposite. There's no need to rack brains about. Riku think it's fine to just be true to self. Riku makes a good point. Wanting to do what we want, to be how we want to be. That's how we should carry on. In that case, I'll continue down the road of the future that was meant to be. It's been a long If I were given the chance, if this road I've walked were to keep on going. I'd like to spend that time with my Moa. What's wrong with no pawns, Torn? These are the least annoying no pawns of the entire Forever series. Isn't it? Because they're not really annoying at all. Though I do miss the meh. Meh, meh, meh. I wait for you long time. Engine already installed. Oh, you mean the hero pond, Sasti? Um. Ricky? What's his name, Ricky? He had like 50 children and he was a deadbeat dad. So now we'll be able to go to Origin. I'll tell you what, brother. Riku will be a pilot, yes? Affirmative. Samus and Riku information on how to steer and on equipment loadout. But first... Meh, you all hasty as always. Simon is basking in his achievements now. Shut the fuck up. All right, we don't really get all your technical talk. We'll leave all that to Riku, yeah? Oh, this is very fine, yes. Simon have calculated optimum route for throwing ship at Vortex. Waters around Farview Cape are good. Samus in precise coordinates. Friends verify later. You do all that for us. Mr. Salmon, thank you so much. Without you, we wouldn't be able to join the battle. You let Salmon help this much, just come back alive! We will! We'll be back. Chat will be back. Press L while piloting the bravery to engage high velocity mode. Press L again to return to regular mode. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, let's give this a try. Wait a minute. A quest popped up. 
Oh, it's right there. What's this? What is the salmon? Salmon. Simone. Sasa. There's something that salmon has uh, been turning over in mind. Friends still have metal or piece of origin metal, yes? Well, I mean, we gave it all to you. Salmon disappointed to hear. There are tiny gleam on radar, slightest blip of light. Really? Huh? I wonder if it's this. Yes, yeah, sort of looks like origin metal if you squint. Yes, that it. You had it on you the entire time. Origin shard. Gray find mostly ones of that size. Gray? Oh yeah, he was collecting them when we met. Oh, that's true. I suppose you asked him to collect them for you. Mr. Salmon, do you need more origin metal for something? Ship is already perfect. But if Salmon have more than more effect use can be found. If Salmon have origin metal, then Salmon able to construct a thing like Blade of Noah. What? Wait, you can really do that. Salmon can do this thing with ultimate hammer. Salmon have this idea while tinkering with Engine of Bravery. You just randomly came up with that. If Friend's going to beat up Awesome Mobius, then Friend's want good blade, yes? Of course. Good, then settled. Friend's find Origin Shard to make blades more strong, but that not all. We also need Nopon who wield this hammer. What do we need Nopon for? Origin Metal only able to be worked by Ultimate Hammer. Let someone see. How many Nopon who know Ancient Technique for use only with this hammer? Some I think there are six scattered in the world. So first we go looking for the Nopon who wield hammers like that. Tell them to meet someone here at workshop. So now I have origin shards. I need to find the ultimate Nopons. Uh, I mean, do I really need to do it? Though? Like, do we really need to do it? I don't know if we really need to do it. I don't know if we really need to do it. We. Normal speed. Super speed. Honestly. I was expecting a little more. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> I thought we would like hover or something. It's all the switch can handle. <laughs> Match to origin. I am prepared. I I Captain. No, that is definitely not ludicrous speed. You're expecting warp nine, all we got was warp four. We here, middle of great sea. Noah, please to activate cloaking device. Roger. <gasps> we can cloak? That makes sense, I guess. The other ships can. Cloaking activated. Wait a minute, do we have like no escorts? Yet. Are we sure this is really gonna work? They're not gonna like open fire when we get too close maybe i shouldn't be here if it ends up working to our disadvantage we cross bridge when we get to wait a minute this uh, is just that anyhow this is just the endor run won't take every bullet. in return of the jedi Iku, you don't seem to be taking this seriously because luke can be felt it by vader and he's like we'll try to i've endangered the mission i shouldn't have come okay hey uh what's a sail again we've made it this far just quit worrying. Go with the flow, yeah? Spark's sake. Talk about carefree. It's go time. Full power to engine. There be a little drop, so make sure to hold on tight. Wait, what drop?
So you've come, Uroboros. What has this guy really done in this story so far? I know he's the big bad, but he's just been sitting in this fucking room like, blah, 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 blah. Cutscene over. Blah, 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 blah. Cutscene over. Huh? Check it! The sea's looking funky! And not only sea. True, if I had a home cinema like that, I would also use it a lot. called origin Oh, they're destroying all the colonies! All of our friends, no! Colony! You! Lambda? Which one was that? That thing's operational. Oh crap! Mobius mutters. That thing's what operational. What are they thinking? They're even shooting at us. We won't last long against that star destroyer. Taking pot shots now. They're still there. Last longer than we will against that death. I mean, against that origin star. And we might take a few of them with us! Sorry, now I'm just in Star Wars. Just barely. They dropped one of our ships. How are you? I'm doing fine, Gondor. We're holding out here. Bastards. I can't believe they're firing at their own. I thought we were the only ones they wanted gone. Yeah. If this keeps up, they're as good as raise the entire world. They're all about life, aren't they? As long as they have origin, they can keep on making more of us. For them, this might just count as charging up. Reveling in the final glimmers of our lives. They want us to flicker out. When the last light fades, they're planning on starting over. In a world without us. That's all kinds of messed up. Please don't look there! Isn't that the Colony 30 detachment? But that's suicide! Turn around! No, they're gonna die! This is like that moment at the end of that uh, sequel trilogy. Um, the Emperor's back in town, I think is what the last movie was called. When like the million ships came in warp speed nine to go destroy all the Death Stars.
lives come back around. In due time, you will all be reborn once again. And then, like, the chosen one, I think it was like Harry Potter. It was like, I am all the magicians. And then he killed the Emperor Man. I am all wizards, something like that. I can remember that movie, Taco. It is unfortunately ingrained in my memory bank. It's like a natural instinct. It was so bad. To them, it's as basic as breathing. Nice theory, kid. But don't make excuses for me. Of course. <laughs> All right, then. Gondor! Get in time to pull out all the stops. We'll play the decoy for you. You guys gun it, yeah? Gondor! We got it! If we're gonna get to the Vortex, we'll need your help! Riku! Pass me the controls! Aye aye! How's the engine doing? Spick and span! Admittedly, we lose some instruments to attack just now. But engine proper is raring to go! Alright, let's punch clear through! Hold on to something! It's gonna be a rough ride! God, even now she sucks. Powering shields to max. Maybe have sh oh, no have shields. Cool. When punch through, open throttle to fall. This is like a Warhammer 40k Space Marine insertion. Roger that. I remember the Holdo maneuver to Sassi. I can't forget it. Though, I hate everything about the Holdo maneuver except how it looks. It was a very beautiful shot. A very beautiful shot of cinema. The hollow maneuver was, but in terms of like Star Wars, everything else about it, I hate it. But it looks great. Wait, we fly now? Or are we falling now? Are we going to like a fall? They're going into the exhaust port! Down to the engine! What the fuck? In the final dungeon. I'm assuming this is the final dungeon. So what did the rest of, of these people do? Like they all just got shot at. What what was the reason for the city being here? There was nothing to fight. I guess just as, as a distraction, maybe? Origin. Almost like a Pharonis, huh? We're in this thing. The original Pharonis. This one's the first. Not just first. I think all Pharonises derive from this one right here. It's called Origin, Noah. Get with it, man. Come on. 
I am all the Foronises. <laughs> what is that thing? You know, as much as I hate that movie, the last of the sequel, um, Return of the Sith, was it called Return of the Sith? I can't even, I literally can't even remember the name. I love that Ian McDermott got to come back to Star Wars and just chew up the scenery. Whoa. He does it so well. So this is what it's like on the inside. It's all just machines and more machines. Rise of Skywalker, thank you. I also see trace amounts of the Black Fog. Hey, this metal, it's like Noah's sword. You're right. It is the same. Mio, you know what's in here? Sorry, no. Whenever we teleported, it was always to a large, dim room. I think that was Zed's doing. To keep the location secret. Well... Guess we're searching the old-fashioned way, then. What about the other Mobius? Anything? About that... It's odd. It's like they're right here beside me. But all so far away. I feel like I'm surrounded by them on all sides. Well, this is the enemy base and all. Kinda makes sense. Or maybe... Huh? This whole place. Floor, walls and ceiling. Everything here could be Mobius. <gasps> what? Is it them? No. The transmission pattern's different. This feeling. It's like it's calling to us. You think it's the Kavasi Queen? Maybe. Where then? Can you tell? Second star to the right. And straight on till morning. Below. Do we go, Noah? Yeah, let's go. It's all been leading to this. Force field generator base. Is everyone all right? How are we with class learning? Mm. Hey, she could be the the seraph. I'll hit him, and then I'm gonna hit him again. Hell yeah! Hit the fuck out of him. Hit the fuck out of him. Um, let's... Okay, so then we'll have to make... Hmm... Noah, you're gonna have to be a tank. He doesn't even have all the tanking classes maxed out, though. Hmm... Hmm... Got, like, her tight run runner's pants just doesn't work with so many of these outfits. You got this cool armor on the top, and then just runner pants. With some fucking Nikes. Like it's. Ah! Oh! It's fine. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I just make you the tank. I just don't know how good you're gonna be at it. Not that it really matters that much, probably. Noble Taunt. You get a topple. We don't need you to have a topple, necessarily. Grand protection. At some point, you don't have enough to finish your LARP costume. Imperial sword.
I guess no love lost. Gyms. I need higher level blue gems, man. They're all pretty bad. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well. Let's get whatever tanky abilities we can. Okay, and then accessories. We want to do the one that generates aggro every second, which should be on my favorites list. Somewhere. There it is. Phantom Feather. Uh, Iron Temple Hat will be upgraded to this one. And then, is there another aggro increasing? Block rate? Maybe block rate. Yeah, maybe block rate. But we'll also see if there's more aggro stuff. I don't remember if there is. Deal 50% less damage, but take 30% less. Hmm. That... Is that better than a block rate? Probably. 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 But... I'm more concerned with aggro. Or nope on doll. Boost aggro generation from auto attacks by 40%. We'll go with that one then. Because he needs to keep aggro is the one thing. He's the only tank right now. So I think that's the most important. The t Ooh, we only have two healers. Uh, that may be okay. That may be okay. That may be okay. We're gonna need some decks. And then boost damage on the side, I think. Maybe. Because they have these, or I'm going to give her the side break. Well, maybe I won't actually, because she can get, she can get launch. She can get topple, but we already have a topple in her kit, but what else can we replace that with? Boost damage dealt when attacking from the front by 50%. Boost damage dealt by 50% but reduces HP when using arts. Okay, so we're going to be attack her from the front. We'll give her the launch. Anything else? And give her the war medic defense up. That's kind of interesting. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, oh, because of energy grenade. Nah, yeah, that's probably that's probably for the best actually. It's probably for the best. All right, that's fine. So we got that, her gems are, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, it's all fine. I think she is set. Which then means technically he doesn't have to be a Seraph anymore. But the more Seraphs we have, the quicker we unlock it for everybody else. But he could become another healer if we need it. But for right now, he will stick with this. She also maxed out Machine Assassin already. Okay. Ooh, she could become a Soul Hacker. Okay, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna make her a Soul Hacker. I'll knock him down. Which means we can get rid of him. And for him, we'll do Final mission orders number seven. Okay, so she'd be Soul. Well, now we gotta. Now we really gotta build her. Okay. Oh man, because now we have so many arts and stuff as a soul hacker class. Oh wait, first things first, what does she look like as a base soul hacker? Uh... 
Just stay as a flash fencer, that's fine. Okay, arts. What do we got? Boost damage by 50% for every enemy in battle. Probably not needed. Generate more aggro and boost damage to Agnes forces. What do we need to build her as? Damage dealer is fine for now. At 50% chance for the attack to be unblockable. 50% more damage against enemies who are at 30% or, H or less. Evade enemy attacks while the art is active. Uh, damage to aquatic life, we don't care. Evasion by 30% while art is active. Interfere. Evades attacks, also boost accuracy by 30%. A lot of evasion. Boost damage up by 100% when HP is at 30% or lower. When our HP is at 30% or lower. Uh, against toppled enemies. Every enemy in battle. Reduce aggro towards self when the art hits. Tail slap. This is target lock, which we don't want on her. Chance to remove all buffs from target upon landing a hit. Snake eyes. Boost aggro generated when using an art. That's for something else. Draining vacuum heals nearby allies. So no. When canceling boost damage dealt by 25%. It's not bad. So that's the left side, huh? Hmm. The thing is, the power multiplier on this thing is pretty high. Hmm. Life Leech and Melee sounds pretty good. Life Leech. What? Are you talking about this one, the Draining Vacuum? Well, this one is you're healing for 100% of your healing power. Right now, we only have 25 healing power. We could change her to have more healing power. And if we do need more healers or more tanks, then I will change her because you can make this class basically anything. But for right now, I just want her to be damage. Then on the left side, we could have her just with a break, a topple, and a smash, which is kind of crazy. But you also got jet stream, which is a blowdown, healing rest, which is. What is this? It says type healing. AoE around user. I'm guessing this is just... It uses your healing power? I'm guessing? Uh, reduce damage taken by 25% and damage dealt by 25%. The stance. Boost damage dealt for each art with depleted recharge. It's kind of interesting. I think I want to keep her as a... as, as this. She has three of uh, a single combo just by herself, so we just need someone with... Um, actually, hold on. We just need someone with launch, which is going to be you. But unfortunately, her launch is not a main art, so it's not going to be available from the start. And no one else has launch capabilities, including our soul hacker. So we won't be able to do a combo in the very beginning of the fight. I guess that's okay. Uh, skills, what do we got here? I'm going to make you a striker to increase your dexterity. It also does increase healing power. Increase critical rate by 20 percentage points. Uh, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Boost agility by 10%. Damage against enemies performing arts by 50. Block rate. Another thing for boosting with enemies. Boost damage dealt by 25% when using an art while quick move is active. Oh, that's interesting. Let's try that. Boost damage dealt based on the amount of time elapsed. I feel like that's good, probably. Each time an ally is incapacitated, your damage is increased by 60%. Up to a maximum of 200. That's not bad either. What else we got? Deals 1000% of attack and damage to nearby enemies when incapacitated. Huh, that's interesting. Boost all arts recharge by 30% when, when hit by a combo reaction. Reduce healing arts effects by 30% but makes recharge 30% faster. So faster healing but weaker. Interesting. When blocking, adds a chance to reflect attack. Boost damage dealt for each art that's currently fully recharged. Interesting. God, there's so many ways you can do this. Boost recharge speed when in water, damage dealt when in water, chance to grant four random buffs when an ally is incapacitated. 
Reduce damage taken by allies in a fixed radius by 20%. Interesting. Boost damage dealt by 25% but reduces max HP by half. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's give it a try, why not? There's so many things. Uh, inflict target lock on enemies whenever an ally's HP becomes critical, so you get uh, auto taunt. Boost recharge speed by 36% when non defenders target, so like a lot of tanking skills here. Reduce aggro on self when an ally is incapacitated. That's blocking. Critical rate by 20% and damage by 50. More blocking. Boost ally revival speed for each incapacitated ally. Restores 30% of HP when low HP. Boost evasion while quick move is active. Which is also neat. When low on HP, a random ally takes the damage you receive, but takes more. Uh, crew aggro every second. More blocks. Boost damage up by 25%. Oh, that's the one we got. Okay. There's just so many things. Like, that's what this class is cool, because it could do... You can do literally anything. Literally anything. What do we got here? Attack. Auto attack. Reduce aggro. Mm, let's increase dex by some more, because I think we need more accuracy. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Oops. Now we got the mech! Since she has low HP now, the one that does a thousand damage when she dies would be useful. It, it is interesting. You know, I am kind of, you know, I am curious. <laughs> I am curious. It's going to do a thousand percent of 920. So, that is, you know, you know yeah, we'll, we'll give it a try. Why not? We'll give it a try. Super Explosion. But if we want Super Explosion, then we also would want her to not do reduced aggro, which would be this thing. We would want her to, I don't know, like, empowered combo. Maybe she can just, like, keep dying. Actually, I wonder if the one where you increase your damage when an ally is incapacitated, it probably doesn't work for herself, though. Because then we can just have her kill herself multiple times, which then boosts her damage by a lot. But that's... Probably not how that works. Guys, get ready to fight. Do you have a topple? Wait, I have a topple. Wait, are they dead? I guess they're dead. things they fall apart the moment we take them down the black fog is gone too they're not mechanical but neither are they biological something wrong Mia <sighs> as they fell I could feel it very slightly a vague whiff of Mobius coming off them those things what's that mean I'm not sure Mia, didn't you say before, all this could be Mobius? Yeah. Are you trying to say those things might be Mobius as well? But they don't even look human. I think the shape might not matter so much. Huh? I think I'm starting to get the picture. I feel like I know what Mobius is. Do we know what Mobius is, Chad? Has anyone figured it out? I haven't figured it out, I don't... Oh, oh, shit. I keep forgetting that he's alive. You who wield the sword of the end. The endless now is under threat of being cut short. Could you do it, I wonder? Could you slay the ones who advance relentlessly toward despair? You do, after all, desire eternity above all others. Now, 
take it in your hand. For the endless now, for that which you so desire. Cool. I have to find him again. Arrival in new area confirmed. Just this big ass mech rolling with us. Why can't we all get mechs? Big rooms. We'll be set in a blink. Hello. I think Noah, his aggro is too good. I can't. Pull aggro to, to to her to die. These things have different names. Oh, they do. Yeah, they do. Interesting. You're supposed to be following me. All right, let's take off that skill for her then. And we'll go with one of the other. That. Mm. Mm. Boost evasion by 20%, so we just like keep quick moving. I do have the one where we quick move. Yeah, okay. Boost damage while quick moving. Alright, alright. We'll be done in a blink. Let's end this quick. I'm assuming all these, yeah, are going to auto-aggro us. God, she is much weaker than when she was in the monk class, though. That class is nuts. Teamwork made the dream work. Ah! 
No, I died. Chat. I hurt myself today. I feel like I should change her gym, or sorry, her skill to be the power soul. Get a little more, a little more power. Get away from me, birds. We'll just keep dodging. I want to maybe change tail slap. Give me all the booty. But yeah, let's get rid of tail slap. Maybe, maybe we do make her like an AOE. Wait, what were accessories? Boost attack. Oh, the auto balancer. No. 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 An illustrious arm string. No, they keep auto like equipping this terrible item for us. While an ally is incapacitated. Per enemy defeated. Sure, you know what, we'll, we'll give that a try. And then we'll go for some more AoE arts. What do we got? Spit Beam. Frontward AoE. Dino Storm. AoE around the user 200%. Fin of Fear around the user 200%. Boost Evasion. Dragon Gas. Just as target lock, which we don't want. Boost aggro Generation, we don't want. Frontward AoE. Boost damage dealt when attacking from the side by 150%. 150%. Okay. Last one randomly chosen debuff when art hits. Oh, we could also do some more debuffs, and it's an AoE. Trick Dart. And we would want Dig to be here. Because that's also a frontward, so when we fusion these, they're both frontward AoEs. I feel like we still... Maybe we get rid of Topple, because there are the other people that have Topple. Inflicts accuracy down. That's a bind. Knockback frontward AoE. Hmm. Poison spray is a bleed. Boost damage dealt to machines. Well, these aren't machines, right? Check this. Okay, so those are all AoEs. Okay. So that means then we should do the skill. Do damage against enemy. Nope, nope, nope. We have one that is. Yeah, there we go. Tactical eye. So we'll specialize here, I guess.
You hope Negan Noah just stays insane? He probably will. Maybe? Well. I'm sorry, everyone. Maybe not. I don't know. Sorry, I don't do restraint. This one Go get him, guys. It's like a mighty Hadouken. That's that's yeah yeah that's true. That's true. Hey, oi! Oh, you fools! Come here! A token! Oh no! I adukened too hard. gonna target me on the hopes that he kills her so he can get her net oh yeah gets her next life yeah that sounds possible damn alright let's kill this guy Go. Ah! That's cool. Look at move. How many hours am I am I in now? Around eighty, I think. Uh oh, we're gonna get the sound effect. I'm sorry. Got to heal up. We'll be done in a split. We can do it. No doubt about it. Kill. 
Gather the energies of Uron. Wait, what? Guys, get ready to fight. No, I think they them can imply one person. If that's what you're asking me. Listen, English English is is weird. They them can also be um, talking about one person or multiple people. See if we can keep this up. Sorry, I don't do restraint. We can do it. No doubt about it. I'll call them. You can disappoint. Gather the energies. Oh. <laughs> I fall down. Give me a break. We all worked hard for that. Yeah, there you go. Cherry made a perfect example. Oh shit, time's almost dead. Yeah, we, we'll be fine. I can see how like they them could be maybe um, confusing for people whose like English isn't their primary language maybe. Because I'm sure when you learn they them, it's probably talk that you say they them in a group setting. But yeah, they them can definitely be. It's just yeah, it's a non-gendered, non-binary way of saying um, this person or these people. kind of neat. Aruno Vokuko. Vokuku. You know, I may actually want to put the accessory on her that her master arts are uh, off cooldown in the beginning of the battle too. So that's a that's a pretty good it's a pretty good item. Let me see. Characters. What accessories do I have on her? Hmm. Yeah, we, we will replace this with. Do I have it favorited? Ooh, boost damage from fusion arts is also pretty good. I need like five accessories. Crap, I don't have it favorited. Uh, shit. Where's it gonna be? 
Speeds up interlinking, we don't need that. Oh, what was it called? Ah! Hey, here we go. Gust Bracelet. Fast charge will be 100% charged when starting a battle. There we go. Okay. Rare item obtained. Not to worry, stick to the plan. There we go. All our arts. Give me maximum power! Yeah, look at me. Wait, I'm almost dead. Yes. over here. Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. Oh no, I got the crotch cam. Enemy oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. Damn, they just kicked her ass. Oh shit, three level 66s. Oh, that was fast. Hmm. We've been spotted. Uh, hello, a bit rusty. Agreed. Yes. Is that thing still falling? Oh, come on. Shoot. Just break lock, damn you. Oh, nice. Okay, rest spot discovered. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. There we go. So, for this, for this, we probably want... I think I want you to be a thaumaturge. You will be Lost Vanguard. Everyone else is maybe okay? Are we gonna have lands? So I got a whack him. I can do that. The future awaits. Okay. That's okay. Reduce aggro generation.
He doesn't have debuffs, though. God, I still only have a level 2 gem there. Ay. Ay, yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. Does he have. Does he have any healing? I don't think he does, does he? Alright, let me see if. Let me see if this can work against them. Get your, uh, get your aggros up. Oh my goodness. Come on, guys. Tyan is already almost, is already dead. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this one. May just be too much because they're, they're three level six uniques. 66, sorry. Whew. Yeah, that one's that one's that one's rough. That one's rough. I'll do my best. Come on, who else? Do exactly as I say. Big responsibility. That one's hard. They may be lower level, but they are essentially three bosses. They deal a lot of damage. Now I, hmm, I really do, hmm. I do want to try and kill these guys though. I just don't know if I have enough to do it. If I make her a tank, but that would change everything. If I make you a tank. Mega shell. I don't know if we'll be able to do this or not, though. Generate more aggro against Agnes doesn't really work. Beast Town.
I guess that's the only thing we have over there. Gonna be able to. Hmm. Maybe instead of this one, I should give him. Boost evasion? And then since Tyon is dying a lot, we'll just make him the Stratagos. He should be set there. I won't falter. Not if we can change this world. Indeed. Let's try that. They may just do too much damage for me to really stop them, but leave it to me. I'll handle this. Uh where am I going? Where am I going? We're going back this way. I just I see a challenge and I wanna see if we can overcome it. Maybe do a little dodge while we regenerate. So far, better. I think, we, I think this is the time where we gotta maximize train attacks. Alright, what do you do again? One additional character is reactivated with a 25% chance for one more. That's fine. Alright. When chosen, Mio gains CP equal to 100% of the hero's TP. Sure. Yeah, this is definitely a fight where you spam, spam chain attacks. Then we'll do... Ooh, we only have one attacker though. It's working so far. It's working so far. The AoEs, in theory, should still hit multiple targets, I believe. 
Mondo cool. The problem is our damage isn't going to be that high in, ch in these chain attacks. Camera? Uh... Oh, sorry, did I say hi, Torn? Has the Torn been here? Hello, ap... Hmm... Ap... Hmm... <laughs> Applipedino. Hello. <laughs> yeah, our damage is so bad right now. Oh, I didn't say any? I'm sorry, Torn. Hello. Go for it. She would actually end the, the thingy. Uh, da, 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 da. It's in its raged status. Status, and I don't think we have a burst combo in our current setup. Mm, not bad. Just upgraded Trick Dart. So that's stronger now, that's cool. Considering two of us are using it. We have, there it is, nice, nice. Oh, uh, all this AoE damage! Ah, doo -doo -doo. Oh, we killed one. We're dead! Fuck yeah! Right into a chain attack. This feels good. These things kicked our ass in seconds. And we adjusted our team. And now we're winning. I 
I guess it does not much. Uh... We're doing the thing? This is exciting! Bravo! Hell yeah. Bombshell Blitz. Boom! Reminds you of the Final Fantasy XII Quickenings. The Quickenings? Don't know if I remember the Quickenings. Let's go. Bravo! Back in action. Let's go for lands. Damn, 90 on her own. Sure you can. Indeed. Yippee. That sounds like something lands would do, just how. Ooh, that AoE, I love it. 214. There's only just one left. Second soul get out. I didn't even see what the first one. Mono a mono evasion. And then there was just one. Hell yeah, man. I'm gonna break this thing. Thank you. Get toppled! Get launched! And then get fucking smashed! Get the fuck out of here! Whoo! Hell yeah, that was probably gonna be tougher than the final boss fight of this game. <laughs> That felt good. The arm benders.
Ah, oh, we adjusted, and we won. All right, we got 12% chance to keep recharge when using an art. Boost evasion rate by 10% when attacked by targeted enemy. Oh, interesting. And then I'm guessing it was an art. Yeah, murder knuckle. When using an art, reduce HP by 10% of current HP, deals damage that ignores defense. 440 power multiplier? Oh my god, it is just one target though. Hmm. And a chance to keep... Hold on. A chance to keep your art recharged by by 12%. Give it a try. I'll give it a try. I guess we can also change our team back to what it was before this. Uh, you were... Oh, you can actually learn the Soul Hacker. I'm fine with attacking. Hell yeah. I'll hit him, and then I'm gonna hit him again. I'll take the offensive then. We'll all be Soul Hackers. Leave the enemies to me. <laughs> and this can work. This, I think this can... Well, we'll see. We'll see if this can work. So we have one tank... What, can I just say like auto build? Never actually try that. This will fill all slots automatically. Change build now. Okay, what if I go into here and make you a tough soul? Will that change the auto build? It does. Interesting. Okay. Okay. What did it give you for skills? Block rates? Your block rate is only 40%. Mm. Okay, we'll give it a shot. And then... At this point, we should put everybody in base clothing, right? Because we're the pirate gang. And then, let's see, for you... Make you a heal soul. We'll see what the auto build gives you. When low in HP, a random ally takes the damage you receive. Reduce aggro on self when an ally is incapacitated. 12% chance to keep an art. I'm going to change this, I think. Boosting art to recharge speed by 30% when an ally is low at HP. Like, this is so cool that this one class could be everything. Literally everything. Um, we'll have you heal faster as well. And then for you, we'll need probably one more healer. Change this role to healer, giving a balanced set of abilities. So this has more healing power, more hit points, less attack power. I think this is better. We'll do the this. Lifebringer. I forgot to change your gems. Reduce aggro. Boost the healing speed. Also, I forgot to change your arts. Heal nearby allies when art hits. Remove buff. Reduce aggro towards self. It did give us... It, okay, actually. Actually, it did give us a lot of cool shit. Those are probably the ones I would want on our healers. So that's not a bad, not a bad call. Not a bad call, video game, not a bad call. What about uh, accessories, what did you give me? We don't need this. Do that. Don't need that. Boosting art recharge speed by 25% when an ally is at low HP, I will say yes. That seems okay. We don't need the vibrant arming, that always gives us this. Hold on. 
Get the better one of those. We could we could boost criti critical rate. To 58%. The arts will probably want to be critical arts. I think we have some of those. Hmm, maybe we don't. We do probably want Tail Slap or just aggro. Oh, maybe we don't have a uh, increased critical chance one. Evade and boost your accuracy. We'll go for that. And then on this one... What do we go for? What do we go for? We probably want the one that uh, Trick Dart. We want them all to have Trick Darts, because then all of our pirates can... At least our offensive pirates can all hit them with Trick Darts, giving the enemies randomly chosen debuffs. So we'll debuff their entire party. Which, honestly, we probably should be teaming this up then with the Robot Assassin. So we should probably change her out for the Assassin Final mission order for more debuffs, and theoretically she should do more damage as well. What are your arts again? Boost damage dealt when attacking from the side. Applies one randomly chosen debuff. When an attack hits, spread target debuffs to other enemies. That one's still good. Inflicts resistance down. Extends debuff effect duration by 15%. Yes. We'll go for that one. Uh, who was I on? Was I on you? I think I was on you. What were your skills? Critical rates. Boost damage dealt based on time, and then recharge. Okay, I agree. Maybe we're on this stuff. So Trick Dart, Aquatic Missile is a topple. Do we have a break? We do not. Okay, so we'll do... Hawk Shot. So you have a break, you have a topple. She has a smash, but we need a launch. This class actually, I don't know if this class has a launch. I don't think it does. It probably exists, I just haven't killed the right enemy yet. Oh no. I guess we just can't do a full combo then. Because I, I want the pirate gang. Unless I switch her out to be the, the lone blade, because she has a launch. To Maybe I'll do that. Because I, I do want the ability to do a full combo. So we'll, I guess we'll get the murder hobo. Look at all these pirates! Yar. We be selling the high seas of origin. You, you want me to leave? Just essentially just a bunch of blue mages. Kinda. You think you're all that, do you? Shit. Oh, they have been launched! Look at all these pirates! This is probably a terrible idea. But it's funny. Go get them, pirates! Oh, it instantly killed me! Yar! <laughs> I be a sad pirate. Can they not heal me? Oh, someone's already on. Okay, okay. Well, 
so many beast towels. I'm dead. Charging up my Hadouken. Hadouken! Can they not get- oh no, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say, it looks like they're not being affected by our debuffs, but they are. Oh, I'm dead. I did too much damage. Yar! <laughs> How dare you? Let the uh, allies get some aggro. I'm talking. Shit. <laughs> I always get one combo off and they, <laughs> and they just like murder me. They evaded? Yeah, I don't think this is a great build, but I like it. Oh, shit. Get the bats! I have to be more patient. Now 
Yeah, keep giving me these buffs. I love these buffs. What's this? What's this then? Well, fine. Let's do it, pirates. Oh shit, they're still targeting me. Uh, no. No, they have not, Sasuke. I don't think we're gonna get that. No! <laughs> Maybe I need to reduce the aggro gym. And I'm gone. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, and I'm gone. I was not gone. Then I run. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah. Anything over here? Container? We'll go for it. Let them engage with our tank. And dead. And punch, 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 kick, it's all in the mind.
Okay. Power class is neat, but inefficient. <laughs> Definitely inefficient. Um, let's see. Switch you back to, I guess, sword fighter? Signifier. No. Lost Vanguard. Hmm. Uh, Zephyr. And then I'm gonna hit him again. Probably a healer. I would like the Thaumaturge. I won't so bring her back. Not if we can change this world. You will go with the Stratagos. Hmm. Hmm. I'll keep you safe and snug. Do that as well. You line him up, I'll knock him down. You go back to this class. Okay. Probably fine. Ceramic belt. Gosh darn the auto balancer. And then this was a auto attacker. Yeah, I'm going to take that from you. I'm sorry. But yeah, the auto attacking um, capabilities of this class is pretty strong. Also, change of clothes. On, guys Yeah, this class deals so much damage. And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. Something so valuable here. There's gotta be some over there, right? So that goes up to ah, a unique. Okay. Oh, we're fine. 
I did not know that drop was there. Hello, Tupo. How could I? I can find as brightly as anyone. They okay. Should be good here. Oh, that thing shut me down. Target me. No. I killed the Robin again. I am near death, and it's time to go. In our Zord forms. Break this thing. Thank you. Get that smile. <laughs> Why they always gotta be so rude? Why is it every time I leave one of those things, Senna dies immediately? Okay, which one of these do we want? We want... Probably want the, this one. It's because the game's where Senna's best girl? Damn. Actually, I should have used him last, probably. That's a whoops. It's gonna be a whoops. I like these weapons. I don't know what the hell they are. But they're cool. Let me get Ouroboros.
Bye bye. Oh, I didn't have the soul hack skill on. Oh no. No. Fuck. You think you're all that, do ya? Shit. Well, I'm not gonna fight it again right now. I'll do it later. That's the whole point of finding uniques at this point is to get the soul hacker skills. No. But if there isn't a later, then I'll never get it! We'll never know what that was. I will take that information to my- Oh, I was gonna say to my grave, but I won't because I don't even know what it is. I've had Solhack on lands for so long now, I just assume he just has it. But we just changed his class and we auto-built him so they replaced his skills. Sad times. Well, visitors. What? Oh, sir. Ow. No, <laughs> I doubt that, Taco. At least I hope it wasn't. Oh, suck. Right. Let's push on. What punch? Here we go. Sorry, I don't feel restraint. Go for it. That elevator must go somewhere. I am being targeted. Sure you can. God. I'm the girl with the gall. This class is so deadly. I fucking love it. What's this? Press the big green button. Is this just a shortcut? This goes here, that goes there. Time for a little rest. Because there was that elevator we went to earlier. So I'm assuming this is a shortcut. Yeah, this is just a shortcut. To get us back up here. Oh, although it does get us, I guess, up here. Here we go! I'm assuming I haven't been to this platform. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I was. Wait. Yeah. Yeah? Shall we deal with this? Right? Although this thing's still alive. The thing is, this area looks all the same to me, so... We've been here before. We're going in circles, so... Okay, I don't think we've been here because that just wants me to jump off the side and then climb up. 
But, oh, uh, yeah, no, no. We, right? We put... Ah, yeah, I think I just went into a circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I just went in a circle. No, don't cry. That elevator was a sham. Got my hopes up. Thought I was getting to a new area or something. I have, I have not noticed this, um, the vocals in this song at all at this point. Sorry, I don't do restraint. Just another routine battle, right? Go, go for it. Let me actually go for the uh, these ones. The side ones. Am I dying? I feel like I'm dying. I have 72 hit points. I have one hit point. Mio is dead! Nice. Go for the other ad. Hashtag ads. Yeah, that's true. Like, we're 10 levels higher than this, and these things are still killing us. Yeah, good point. I also don't have an optimized team right now. But even still, like 10 levels, you should be killing these things no matter what. Sesame sucker. They talk too much during battle. You know, that's, that's a good point. Can you turn that off? I don't know. If, did I ever look to see if you could turn that off? Hmm. Nope. You did? Okay, okay. Was it when we kept hearing uh, Lance on something a bit meatier? <laughs> Is that when I looked? Voices aren't that annoying. I, I I don't mind them. It's another thing to see it yourself, right? Whoa. Faronis Arsenal. That's just a giant face. Faronis. Were they created inside Origin? Cavesi and Agnium ones together. Snuff me. Got this, maybe, maybe.
so much shit. Something that I can't turn off the- oh god, oh god. The Widow Nolts has joined the battle. Uh, I can't turn off all the damage numbers. Sure, I can turn those off. Mm. Okay. Choose other to display other information around the mini map's circumference. Information above the enemy's head. Like what? Like their level and stuff? Auto damage, players' art damage, but we can turn off those. I can turn off that, I can turn off the enemy stuff. You know what, yeah, let's turn off everything and just see what it looks like. EP, you're all thinking it. I'm still seeing some kind of damage number. Oh, the healing numbers. I'm the girl with the gun. It would be neat if we could. Is there a way to turn off just like everything, including the arts? Here at the end of the game. Well, who knows? There may be still be a tutorial that we need to get through. Now that I'm actually looking at this, I may have wanted to play this game in classic. Push the R button to target the closest enemy, L button cycles through targets in reverse order. I'm not entirely sure what, what that means. Just start over. <laughs> Choose whether to target enemies automatically. That's fine. Need control of the battle to the AI. Controls the occurrence of overkill during chain attack. Does this turn off overkill? Oh, there's Mio's hairstyle. <laughs> Let's put it to long. I don't know, she has magic hair. Kind of neat. Let's focus on the hero. Whoops. Yeah. What will they play after Xenoblades? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm not there yet. <laughs> Only thought in my head right now is Xenoblade. Do I know when I get IE? Uh, I think next week? 
I think, maybe. Am I doing post? I don't know what post game is for this game. I don't typically do post game stuff for Xenoblades. I don't even know what that is, other than just like grinding a lot to uh, kill the like level hundred monsters here and there. But there is one place I kind of forgot about that we could check out. I'm guessing we can't go there now, though. Maybe we can. further this way ha! we should locate some device that uh... the spins. I found it nice So now we can get on the far side. How far will we go today? Nah, it's fine. There may be like a unique monster over there or something, but it's okay. Whee! Indeed. Can we maybe train? It's time to get our bonus experience. I definitely feel stronger. Hiya. Do I have any chance to craft? Craft more of those. It's finished. No bad job. Ah, oh, God, I hate that I'm missing like just one or two things. Ah, got this one. And done. No bad job. Damn it. Nothing. It's 
always just one thing here, one thing there. I have to, I have to scour Google and find where these no, items are. Done. But that just sounds like a bore, you know? Just so boring. Good cook. What can we make? Collectible, enemy drop boost, experience boost, CP boost. Hmm. Meh. Never meh. Do, do, do. I couldn't eat another bite. I'm all and ready to Oh, you know, I do always forget to level up the Oro Boros. Also, I forgot to um, put skills here. Because we can... I totally forgot about this. We can put skills from one into the other. Pay that much you attention to the Orboros, but like they're good enough. Try this out, Mio. Sure, I'll give it a go. Try this out, Mio. Sure, I'll give it a go. I got a new trick up my sleeve. I got a new trick up my sleeve. I got a new trick up my sleeve. She got a trick up her sleeve. Can I grab this one? A new power, eh? A new power, eh? A new power, eh? A new power, oi! Might want to use this. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, biggest. You better appreciate this tie on. Indeed. More to add to the playbook. What am I missing? Which one? <laughs> Which one do I need? Okay, this one. More to add to the playbook. That's locked. Oh, I only have 53 SP. I want you to use this. Oh, that's clever. Check out this sick new skill. It's so sick. Hey, try this out for size. I will, thanks. Whoa, new power. Oh, I don't have enough SP. Damn it. I need more SP. Take on the world. Also, let's save. I've already got food on the brain. Can't forget our progress. I 84 think. hours. All right, let's get going. Time's a wasted. It wants me to go left. I'm going to go right. Well, <laughs> we've been found. Take that video game. Invited. Oh! 
Jump into their little protective auras. Ow. So. Okay, so where does that go? Uh, it goes to some item that I may need for a thing. We'll get it later. Shh, we'll get it later. It's probably an origin <clears throat> shard. Holy Christ, the dungeon's too big. I mean, this is, yeah, it's like Final Dungeon stuff, right? It's very long. Again, I'm assuming this is the final dungeon. I That's a big thing walking towards us. And it locked on to me. What the nuts? Get all the auras. Jeez, stop shooting me. Why why you gotta do this? Oh no, my two healers are down. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Well, good thing that we conquered that guy. We gotta go. 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 We gotta run. Okay. Thank goodness. Just more and more things kept dropping in on us. <laughs> Wash him as you run. Wash him as he goes. There goes a hero. Sword and arrow. This time it will be different. What are you? What is this? Pharos Impedia. Wait, it's shooting me with thigh guns. What? Oh, 
That's a big gun. Oh! Good God, this is freaking huge. Off we go. About time, hey no. Yeah. About that time, eh, chat? Ending on you, Lance, right to the very end. Remember, this was built by freaking the pervert Nopon, or at least designed by the pervert Nopon. At least that's what the game told us. This doesn't look like anything that could be made by Nia and her people. Uh, Nia is essentially immortal because she's a blade, but it doesn't change, like this just doesn't look like something that would be built by the peoples of Xenoblade 2. There's no architecture from like the cat people, the, um, the humes. Not that I remember anyway. Oh my god! What the hell was that? What the fuck? What? Come on, who else? Big responsibility. It just one shot my entire team? Rare doodad right there, man. We'll be set in a blink. I don't think we'll Try that again. So I can spread these people out. Science down. Oh god. I'm dead. These are a little bit more split up now.
Nah, we'll be fine. We don't need chain attack. We'll be okay. This was a nice find. Oh, wow, cutscene. First one in an hour. Over there. Hey, it's the queen. I'm here to rescue you. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. Man, that's our queen, Melia. That's vile. How could they do this to her? With all we've seen of Mobius, I'd put nothing past them. We have to release her. Yeah. Took you long enough. I know that voice. It's Ed. Hello, I was here off in the corner of the room. Hello. You look unwell. Like me. When you had us locked up. <laughs> Got my just desserts. Well, don't you look smug with my woman on your arm. Noah. Does this face really look smug to you? What else would you call it, huh? N. Oh my God. God. You don't understand my woman anything. on your arm. <laughs> you cannot have the queen. She is the fulcrum of origin itself. By my very existence, I will keep her from you. Well, that's not going to happen. Our schedule's tight enough as is. And also, this is our queen you're talking about. So get ready for a right royal thrashing. You're effectively a part of Noah himself. We'd really rather not hurt you. But we will if we have to. I mean, let's just kill him. Because if you get in our way, then Mobius or not, we're throwing out all the stops and then some. You tell him, Senna. <sighs> Don't fool yourselves. Willpower alone won't change the world. We'll prove you wrong. You'll see. Watch. You will kick our ass in the cutscene for sure. You cannot hope to win. Not while I stand here at the brink of the void. Void. Hmm? Void. That's just your grief. What? It's called sadness. And you know, another problem with a lot of the dialogue in these games is that humans don't talk like this. Like a lot of it just seems I don't even I don't want to say like an alien learning our language and then trying to make drama out of it. That's not quite like that. It's just this these are not conversations. These are not just like we normal conversations that people have. <laughs> to honor M's forced? Sure, forced theatrical? To sure, theatrics. You from your to rescue me. What meaning does that tripe hold for me? Now that all is past, why should it matter? If you don't know, then let me teach you. I'll drag you with me. Deep into the void, to the depths of despair. We got our swords out. I guess we fight.
I'm almost dead. Someone save me. Showing us the depths of his despair. Okay. You Break them. Thank you. Oh no, they dazed him. Shit, I don't have one for uh, days. I guess we can finish with a chain attack. I don't think she does like any damage attacks at all. I guess we don't get to see the pretty damage numbers. Because I turned those off.
Nice. Just pull out the, like, Sword of Origin or whatever and slice it one time. And the cutscene. I'll ask again. Why did you do it? <laughs> Tell me! How could you murder the city's people? Just think! They were the lives of your own kin! My own kin. He doesn't even look injured, You're he's not wrong. even breathing hard. It's like we never fought again. Like this is me and Chef. What the fuck are we telling you? What? They were superfluous for us Mobius living in the now. Furthermore. All those lives wouldn't have existed without me. As their original creator, I held dominion over their lives and deaths. Listen to yourself. Tell me, what about M then? What about the love Mio had for them? Mio, 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 Mio! You're the one who could protect her! In the end, you were powerless! And now she's gone! How could you... Answer me! You really don't know. Don't you understand anything? I don't get it! Why, N? Why do you keep punishing yourself like this? <laughs> you took the wrong path. And then you had to walk it alone. You just messed up. You messed up royally. <sighs> Regret owns you. What do you know? If only I'd made the right choice. If what happened hadn't. Clinging to the past obsessively. You just had to keep walking that path. What you've become is regret itself. Really? And what does that make you then? I am. All of us. We're hope. The hope, he says. <laughs> what lofty heights of arrogance. Like some self proclaimed savior. Not at all. They're the words of the one you held most dear. <sighs> That's her. Inside there. She felt regret. Just like you did. Oh wait, is their kid's name Hope? Is that why they showed the little baby? Because we never knew the name of the child, right? And yet... She had hopes for the future. That's why she left everything to Mio. This hope of yours. How can there be anything like it? In this world, there is nothing but the void. Peer now into it, and watch your precious hope crumble to nothing! I'm trying to tell you! That's just the sadness speaking through you! So I gotta fight him again? In the same form and everything? Oh my god, what are we doing here? Only despair. It's not even a different form! <laughs> Oh, he's full health, all right. Yeah. Uni's down. I will. 
Oh, that's true. He is raging, isn't he? Oh no, did none of us have burst? No. I can't burst him out of rage mode, shit. the chain attack then. Heal me, please. Ba -da -bum, ba -ba 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 oh, just below Bravo. Sad. Sad times. Decent healing done. Yeah, throw that gun. Million. That's not bad. Full combo.
Oh god, hey, hey. Hey now. Don't kill me. Rude. Oh no. Oh no, both healers are down. Okay, now this is bad. Oh no. No, he killed us. Oh no! Oh god, what if we do have to do the first Oh no. Hopefully it's just this fight. We have to get... A burst. Uh, okay, who can burst? That's launch. I'll keep us safe from harm. That's topple. Aha! The Trabadur. Okay, so switch you back to Lost I'll Vanguard. Keep us safe from harm. And then we'll make you a Trabadur. Wait, it's your ultimate? Well, that's interesting. Hmm. I'll heal you right up. Did I say Trubador? I think I meant Thaumaturg. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so... Look at the medic right gunner. Up. Oh no, I oh, you're not level ten one. Ah. Nothing's okay, hold on. past me. Hold on. Leave the healing to me. You don't have it. Nah. No, 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 no. Hope in this world. Only despair. Not if we are so Also the uh damn it. Well, we we technically have a burst. But it's with uh Tyon. I need to build his Oh, I need help out there. Oh my god. Someone break this guy.
Maybe he's unbreakable. So I feel like we would have broken by now. Hold on to the heel for when we need it. But uh, I wanted to change our arts for the interlink, which is why I, I didn't mean to back out to start the fight. So I also wanted to change the um, the interlink people to have first. Oh shit. Him, but yeah, just it looks like he's immune to maybe all that stuff anyway. I wasn't paying attention the first time we fought him because he hasn't been a challenge, but then he wiped me and I was like, wait a minute. But yeah, one out of way, he's broken. Topple him! Cena Lance uh What are these sound effects? <laughs> what the fuck? Do -do -do. Resisted break there. I guess he was in the middle of doing some super move. So, I mean, we got the strats, man. I countered his big old moves. Oh, sorry. Hello, uh, J Mills. I know you talked to a, a while ago. My bad. Mondo, cool. We're doing like no damage. It's unfortunate. But it is what it is. Our chain attack is weaker so that our normal fighting is stronger. Oh no. Well, damn it. Guess it just started with Senna. I 
feel like his health bar isn't even moving. That did break him, though. I'm assuming we have a topple. Senna's really just... You have another chain sack? Let's see if we need it or not. Let's see if we're doing okay. Way back there. Mio. We got him. I'm so tired. I want to be with you forever. Those words back then were the truth. It's what she really wished for. Yes, that's right. I wasn't... I wasn't mistaken. When I tried to give her eternity, that was the correct choice. And you ruined it! Because you've changed! <gasps> you still don't understand. You were together so long. How can you not get it? She wanted you to go back. Back to the name Noah. She wanted you to call her. By the name Mio. Why? Why are you the ones who get to stand there together in this world, edge to bleeding edge filled with sorrow? Perhaps we just got lucky. Got lucky? Trace it to chance encounters. I've met so many people. Lance, Uni, Tyon, Senna, Riku, and Manana. My friends have been invaluable. And of course, I met Mio, too. There's a very small difference between you and me. If I had been in your shoes, I'm sure I would have chosen the same. You would, would you? Yeah. But not anymore. Mio and my friends, and not just them, but the other Mio, and the other me. Every person I have met has shaped me and changed who I am. Thanks to them, I can choose the future. Even if you do succeed at returning the world to its original form, there's no guarantee you'll live long enough to enjoy it. What about that? Do you still intend to persist regardless? Yeah, we will. 
We'll fight our way out of these ten years. That's all. Anne, you were just like us once. An Uroboros, fighting for the future. But one day, you gave up on it. And made the choice to protect the now. But you know, that's okay too. To protect and to endure. There's shapes a wish can take. And I, I knew exactly what that meant. Mio. Won't you come with us? You could try to move forwards again. After so long, it's what you both wanted, right? Well then, easy choice. <laughs> What in the... He vanished. What exactly does this mean? Noah? Is he dead or what? He, he lives within me now. He lives within us all, Chad. No. He's fine. Fine in what sense? For now, hmm. let's do what we came for. The other Xeno games? You mean like Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga? I don't remember. I played Xeno Gears, but that, that was 20 years ago. 20 plus years ago. Up, queen I had a long dream did you a very very long dream in my dream youths were fighting and as many times as they fell they always got back up again she is from zero blade one yeah people simply trying to survive majesty Noah, correct? I have been watching you all this time through the eyes of my simulacrum. Well done making it here. The Queen of Agnes is already free. Now you are too. Now, that leaves only him. You mean Zed? Yes. About Zed, he is not a person, but a concept. Concept? Everyone can feel uncertain, frightened. These feelings coagulated and then given a human form, or Zed. Unlike those people who were granted a Mobius body, he is a true Mobius. Sounds ominous. What? So he's not even an individual? He is, and he isn't. There is some Mobius within you too. But perhaps you realize that. What? Okay. So Zed is like 
a spirit bomb from Dragon Ball Z, but if the spirit bomb was gathering everyone's fears, and if the spirit bomb became sentient, you you get Zed. What like all the two worlds were were so afraid of them colliding with each other that all of the negative, scary feelings that everyone possessed coalesced into a living enemy known as Zed. Is that what I, is that what I'm understanding here? And when she says we all have a little Mobius in us, what she's actually saying is we just we all have a little fear in us. But they just call it Mobius, I guess. Is that is that is that the gist? Your Ionios lies in frozen time, born from the Mobius wish that chose the endless now. So then, both us and the world, everything that exists, it's all false. Everything that exists is reality. Present lives. And future ones. Mobius aside, the wills of countless people persist inside of Origin. The sword of the end you carry, and Ouroboros, they take their shape from these thoughts. Protect the now, or carve a path to the future the wielder decides. The future is undeniable, but you must realize your own. I've seen what you've done. You can do this, too. Very well. There remains but one more thing I have to say to you. Noah. <sighs> Mia. <sighs> Lance, <gasps> Senna, Tyon, <gasps> Uni. <gasps> this world is yours. Further below this point lies the nucleus of origin. You will find Zed there. I shall return to the castle and free the soldiers from the Flame Clock's bondage. Otherwise, their lives will only feed Zed's power. Nice thinking, Your Majesty. Counting on you. Oh, uh, will you need an escort? I would think not. Might you have forgotten who I am? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget that you've been chained inside this construct for thousands of years because you failed to kill and overpower Zed? Did I really forget? Who you are? We literally just freed you. What? Do you forget who I am? Like, what the fuck? Forget who I am. You haven't earned that. Do something cool, then you earn it. Whoa, awesome. She teleported. Like all the Mobius people we've seen before. Why is that more all impressive? Because right. it's green? This will be the last battle. We're all gonna make it through this. I promise. Yeah. This new world sounds like a blast. There's no way we can lose. We're strong now. Just look how far we've come together. The world is in our hands. Right. Let's grab it. And hold tight!
I guess they got a flying Feronis thing. What is it now? It's the new monsters that night. We're ready to launch a full offensive on Origin. Back us up. Mother dear. Michael wasn't gonna do that anyway. <laughs> that thing has just two giant Our miniguns. Ultimately defense. Only destroy weapons on the outer rim. Noah and the others are heading for the core. Leave the middle intact. Screw that up, and we can't restore the world, right? Roger Wilco! Roger Wilco. Alright, chat. That's gonna do it for the stream today. It's got to be a cliffhanger. I need to get going. Um, so Zed is Zed is just fucked. Is is the not fucked? Um, our fears. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Sure. Sure. Uh, well, I guess we'll see old Zeddy boy uh, tomorrow. Chat. So hope to see you there. So until then, I hope you have a good rest of your day, everybody. Thanks for coming out and uh, hanging out with me playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We'll continue this tomorrow. Until then, though, take care, everybody.